Hello, this is Alfred Brock with the Wayne Focus, and today we're going to be looking at opioids. I'm going to first start out with a brief description. Opioids are a class of drugs that include the illegal drug heroin, synthetic opioids such as fentanyl, and pain relievers uh, available legally by prescription, such as oxycodone, which is also known as oxycontin, hydrocodone, which is also known as Vicodin, codeine, morphine, and many others. These drugs are chemically related and interact with opioid receptors on nerve cells in the body and the brain. Opioid pain relievers are generally safe when taken for a short time and as prescribed by a doctor, but because they produce euphoria in addition to pain relief, they can be misused. That is, taken in a different way or in a larger quantity than prescribed. Or taken without a doctor's prescription. Regular use, even as prescribed by a doctor, can lead to dependence, and when misused, opioid pen relievers can lead to overdose incidents and deaths. An opioid overdose can be reversed with the drug naloxone when given right away. Improvements have been seen in some regions of the country in the form of decreasing availability of prescription opioid pain relievers and decreasing misuse among the nation's teens. However, since 2007, overdose deaths related to heroin have been increasing. Fortunately, effective medications exist to treat opioid use disorders, including methadone, buprenorphine, and naltrazone. These medications could help people recover from opioid addiction. There are lots of ways to learn more about this material. One way is to go to the National Institute on Drug Abuse website, that's www.drugabuse.gov, and take a look at all the information they have about illegal drug use, about uh, legal drug use and how it can be abused and cause people problems and uh, you can learn a lot more from there. Let's take a look briefly at heroin. Heroin is an opioid drug made from morphine, a natural substance taken from the seed pod of various opium poppy plants grown in Southeast and Southwest Asia, Mexico, and now Colombia. Heroin can be a white or brown powder or a black sticky substance which has become known as black tar heroin. Other common names for heroin include Big H, Horse, Hell Dust, and Smack. And we'll be learning more about the, the drug facts on heroin uh, in an upcoming uh, uh, um, video. Let's get a brief description of fentanyl. Now, fentanyl is a powerful synthetic opioid analgesic that is similar to morphine but is 50 to 100 times more potent. It is, a more, it is a Schedule II prescription drug, and it is typically used to treat patients with severe pain or to manage pain after surgery. It also sometimes used to treat patients with chronic pain who are physically tolerant to other opioids. In its prescription form, fentanyl is known by such names as actic, duragesic, and sublimase. Street names for fentanyl or for fentanyl-laced heroin include Apache, China Girl, China White, Dance Fever, Friend, Goodfella, Jackpot, Murder 8, TNT, and Tango, and cash. The street names are variable and can be applied to different drugs. Someone's using a street name for a drug. Uh, essentially, they can be assured they don't quite know what it is. And we'll take a look briefly at pain relievers. Now, which classes of prescription drugs are commonly misused? Those include opioids, uh, CNS depressants, and stimulants. Now, what are opioids? Opioids are medications that act on opioid receptors in both the spinal cord and brain to reduce the intensity of pain signal perception. We already heard a little bit about that, but that's quite a bit more that we heard. They also affect brain areas that control emotion, which can further diminish the effects of painful stimuli. They've been used for centuries to treat pain, cough, and diarrhea. The most common modern use of opioids is to treat acute pain. However, since the 1990s, they've been increasingly used to treat chronic pain despite sparse evidence for their effectiveness when used long-term. They become more dangerous the longer you use them. Indeed, some patients experience a worsening of their pain or increased sensitivity to pain as a result of treatment with opioids, and it's a, ph uh, a phenomenon known as hyperalgesia. Importantly, in addition to relieving pain, opioids also activate reward regions in the brain, causing the euphoria or high that underlies the potential for misuse and addiction. Chemically, these medications are very similar to heroin, which was originally synthesized from morphine as a pharmaceutical in the late 19th century. That's the late 1800s. That's over 120 years ago. These properties 
uh, or confer an increased risk of addiction and overdose even in patients who take their medication as prescribed. Prescription opioid medications include hydrocodone, which we've also known as being called Vicodin, oxycodone, also known as oxycontin or Percocet, oxymorphone, also known as Opana, morphine, also known as Cadian or Avinza, codeine, fentanyl, and others. Hydrocodone products are the most commonly prescribed in the United States for a variety of indications, including dental and injury-related pain. Oxycodone and oxymorphone are also prescribed for moderate to severe pain relief. Morphine is often used before and after surgical procedures to alleviate severe pain, and codeine is typically prescribed for milder pain. In addition to their pain-relieving properties, some of these drugs, codeine and diphenoxylate, that is also known as Lomatil, for example, are used to relieve coughs and severe uh, diarrhea. Now, how do uh, opioids affect the brain and the body? Opioids uh, act by attaching to and activating opioid receptor proteins, which are found on nerve cells in the brain spinal cord, gastrointestinal tract, and other organs of the body. When these drugs attach to their receptors, they inhibit the transmission of pain signals. Opioids can also produce drowsiness, mental confusion, nausea, constipation, and respiratory depression. And since these drugs also act on brain regions involved in reward, they can induce euphoria, particularly when they are taken at a higher than prescribed dose or administered in other ways than intended. For example, OxyContin is an oral medication used to treat moderate to severe pain through a slow, steady release of the opioid. Some people who misuse OxyContin intensify their experience by snorting it or injecting it. This is a very dangerous practice and greatly increasing the person's risk for serious medical complications, including overdose. Understanding dependence, addiction, and tolerance is very important. Dependence occurs as a result of psychological adaptations to chronic exposure to a drug. It is often a part of addiction, but they are not equivalent. Addiction involves other changes to brain circuitry and is distinguished by compulsive drug seeking and use despite negative consequences. Those who are dependent on a medication will experience unpleasant physical withdrawal symptoms where they abruptly reduce or stop use of the drug. These symptoms can be mild to severe depending on the drug and can usually be managed medically or avoided by slowly tapering down the drug dosage. Tolerance or the need to take higher dosage Tolerance or the need to take higher doses of a medication to get the same effect often accompanies dependence. When tolerance occurs, it can be difficult for a physician to evaluate whether a patient is developing a drug problem or has a medical need for higher doses to control his or her symptoms. For this reason, physicians should be vigilant and attentive to their patient's symptoms and level of functioning and should screen for substance misuse when tolerance or dependence is present. Talk to you later. Bye.